Namaste, welcome back. It's been a long time since the last time that we saw each other. I missed you all so much, you can even understand how much. I've been really busy, um, I had so much to do at college, uh, also start um, working uh, on a travel agency um, starting this May or June. It's not decided it yet. I've been really busy and that's why I wasn't active. Not on YouTube. Quite if you follow me on Instagram, I am full on there. But um, yeah, I'm sorry for my YouTube babies that I wasn't here for you. But now I'm back. And I think I'm back with a very interested video, at least for me. So today I will go for a shopping therapy, I'll grab some coffee later on. Um, I also want to, you know, walk around a little, you know, exercise, lose the extra pounds from Easter. Mm -hmm. There is a very good weather outside, so I have to get ready first. And I said, why don't I open the camera and get ready with my besties? Uh, it will be very fun. We will also share some tips on the makeup routine. We'll drink some coffee. We will chit chat. Yeah, it will be fun. And what I want to do first uh, is uh, certain my hair. By the way, I changed the color of my hair. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, it's a uh, light brown. Let's straighten the hair first and then continue with, I mean, skincare and the makeup for today. I teleported my mirror from there to here to you know just for your information just so you know So is it just me? Or April was a pain in the ass. I don't know why, but for me it was very difficult mentally. Um, that was my lowest point after like a year ago. I've been trying to, you know, cut up with life, to try to be active as much as I can. So I've been doing uh, many things lately, like um, DMing brands. Brunch. Brunch? It sounds like brunch, not brunch. Brunch. Yeah. Uh, makeup brands, fashion, you know, outerwear brands. The biggest problem for me trying to become a content creator is that I am based in Greece, as you know and most shipping fees start from 30 euro um, for me for someone maybe you know okay as a price but for me it's very expensive i can't afford that much money <laughs> but overall most of the brands that have responded to me have been very positive 
Um, I currently don't have, you know, a collaboration deal, but they told me that they will have me in mind for future collaborations. And that says a lot to me, you know. They saw my content and they liked it and they responded to me and that says a lot. Um, I started working out as well. And spoiler alert, I will renovate uh, my house this summer. So I've been, um, you know, searching for new decoration, for um, new furniture, um, beds. Um, I also want uh, a makeup desk because I currently don't have one. I only have, you know, my work desk that I lately been doing my makeup on here. Yeah, so I've been trying to get a hold of life since it's been hard lately. I hope that you are doing better than me. And if you don't, that's okay. You'll get where you want eventually. Don't worry. Hair is done let me break my makeup items it's time to start the fun part of this video so as you saw on the description of this video um, i will attempt to recreate sabrina carpenter's uh makeup this TikTok viral or social media viral uh, rosy strawberry like makeup. This is my dog. What's his problem? Let me clip back my hair first. I don't want any makeup on them. So I've got my mirror here. Let me start with some. Skincare first. I'm gonna use my Versace cream, face cream. And I'm going to share with you a tip later on with this cream or with whatever cream, face cream you're using or even your moisturizer. If you remember on the last makeup video that I did, I told you to always use your moisturizer, your face cream before you start doing your makeup. It really helps with the finish of the look but also protects your skin. Fresh. So let me tell you now the tip uh, for your foundation. Take your moisturizer or your face cream, whatever you use before you start doing your makeup. Put it like in a bowl or something, you know, put some there. And now take your foundation and put it in the same bowl and mix it up. This uh, is like a tip that I think I saw on TikTok. I'm not really sure. Um, it helps with. T it helps to create the glass skin makeup and 
honestly this is what we need for this uh look a glass skin i don't know if it will came out good honestly this is the very first time that i'm trying it so cop up with me um i think it, because of my skin because of the type of my skin i don't know if it will be completely you know fabulous but we'll try it's it's not that trying so let's see let's try it out I don't know if you can see it, but oh my god, oh my god, and the coverage is like so flawless, oh my god, oh my god, and it honestly feels so good, it feels so good, I can't even explain it. Can you see the difference? I didn't believe it would work at first, but look at the result! Next up, concealer. Honestly, after the hack with the um, face cream and the foundation, the skin looks so much better. Like, my skin hasn't looked so flawless in a while. Also, I don't know about you, but uh, it really helps me out f fixing the makeup with my fingers. Now, the next and the most important step is your blush. And I'm going to show you another tip, another hack, how to perfect the glass skin or, you know, the accomplishment of a makeup look. So I put water in this cup, I clean it up first. And I know that, we, uh, that it will sound crazy, but, you know, if you have a liquid um, blush, you don't have to do this, but if you have a powder blush just like I you will have to do the step if you want to accomplish the glass skin makeup look just like Sabrina's uh, it will sound crazy I know what you will want to do is take your brush and dip in the water not a lot just a little you know the like the tip, like here on the surface. One dip. That was it. Just, just, just one dip. One dip. I know it will sound crazy, but look at my blush. It's perfectly fine. And what you're going to do is with your wet brush. I'm warning you, you will have to take the product in. Try not to have a heart attack. Believe me, your, your blush is going to be perfectly fine after this. Unless if you don't have a waterproof uh, blush. You're gonna take now... <laughs> Uh, the blush, the brush, and 
start from your cheek, from your upper cheek, from here, and bring it upwards to your temple and a little bit here on the eye. Or maybe let's do the eye later. Let's start from the cheek, from here, and go all the way up on the temple. So. This also works and as a counter in a kind of way. Blush really helps to redefine the face. Now I'm using my finger to blend it in with the rest of the skin and see, I am very pleased with this hack. I still don't remember if I saw this somewhere or if I came up with it myself but this is not the very first time that I'm doing it um, and I recommend you to do it you can definitely see you know better results when you wet the brush on the makeup At least for me, since I'm not using liquid um, products, honestly, I don't know if liquid products are better than the powder ones, than the pow powder, powder. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me today. Um, if you know, tell me in the comments, I will do my research as well, but yeah, I don't know if there's a difference in the quality um, of powder and liquid items, makeup items. Um, anyway, this is one of my favorite makeups, makeup looks. I have honestly been doing this for a really big period of time uh, and and suddenly Sabrina made it a trend and I was like finally finally somebody you know stopped gatekeeping it I mean I wasn't gatekeeping it I'm just not that big of an influence to the world to make it a trend and let us continue with the eye makeup I'm always trying to be very, you know I'm always strict, strict and careful with my eye makeup because I have quiet eyes and I honestly still don't know what makeup suits me best what style of makeup so I'm going to use my NYX Ultimate palette the eye makeup of this look is not that hard fortunately for me uh, you have to use neutral colors mostly like white and beige uh, and if you want to it, but if you want to make it a little bit more darker use some light browns um, since I'm going for just a walk I'm going to use the white color as a base for the crease as if I'm not w white enough <clears throat> and now I'm going to use uh, a light brown that I have on this palette. You could also use um, maybe a pink one to match with the blush. I just want to make it as a shadow. I don't want to do a lot with my eyes. And what I'm going to do is here on the outer corner and bringing it inward. I hope you can see what I'm doing, honestly.
if you have hooded eyes like me for the inwards part keep your eyes straight and open and on the other eye I just created a shadow for my eyes. I'm really pleased with this. Now what I would like to do is um, use uh, a sparkly white, I don't know how to call it, that there's in this palette and place it all over on the inner eye to make the difference between the shadow, the brown shade with the white color inwards and now what you will want to do is use a, bl a brush like this one somehow pointy brush take the same color that you that you used as the shadow of your eye and do the down line of your eye with the same color doing it upwards like this And now it's time for highlighter. To match with the rest of the makeup, I am going to use the this highlighter. It's somehow brownish highlighter. If you have a pink highlighter, I think that would be much, you know, better with the rest of the makeup. I am honestly not following the rules about Sabrina's makeup completely I'm just highlighting the inner corner of my eyes and I would usually now start contouring my face um, but uh, the blush is as I said before really doing stealing maybe the job of the counter and I won't counter my face this time but I really do want to contour my nose so I have this creamy contour from Seaglam I honestly have had this contour for over a year and a half and it is, you know, just now going to run out and it smells amazing it's crazy Highlight At this point I am going to use my finger take some highlight and do my cheeks Just like that I'm not effing you, by the way. And I feel like contouring my lips as well. And now the lashes.
for this makeup look you will have to do your down lashes as well if you don't usually do it and last but not least the lips I'm going to use uh, a nude natural color for this makeup look this is my favorite lipstick by the way And here it is, a rosy, strawberry-like makeup inspired by the Queen Sabrina Carpenter. It's honestly a very easy makeup look and it's definitely amazing for my plants today. Besta, thank you so much for helping me get ready. I hope that you liked this video that I got you motivated um, gave you an idea to get up from your couch with the makeup look I'm honestly so pleased like look at it Ugh. try out the tips that I gave you and if you will try them out um, send me a picture of you on, or, me, or DM me DM me on Instagram and tell me about your results, if you liked it, if it worked out for you. I have also made um, a video about my everyday makeup look that it's honestly very similar to this one, so go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, made it to the end. Comment uh, a cup of coffee in the comments. And until next time, stay safe, be happy, stay beautiful, um, try to do something new, try to make a plan to spice up life, <laughs> and we will talk soon. We will hang out together much, much sooner than you think. Oh, 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 wait, wait, if you made it till the end, please hit like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much more than you think. Now you can go, now you are free to continue with your life. Bye, besties.